What's up, everybody? This is I Am Lynn Flo, conductor of timeless music, beat maker, producer, visionary, public speaker. I just wanted to talk about um, faith over fear um, and um, kind of how it came about. It's really been on me. Um, faith over fear is a single, a brand new uh, music single by um, me and my bro plain james and uh, we formed a group called bread and water and uh, i'm really glad that he picked that as a single because i, I think that's kind of where it starts for me uh, sometimes us as people we see what everybody else is doing and people are gifted people are talented and people have a way of putting on when the lights and camera come on, you know what I'm saying? And, um, but not knowing that person could be very well, could be terrified. And, um, it has to be faith over fear. And that's what it was for me. Uh, I've been making beats, been doing music, been, been producing for a while, but, uh, in this arena of, uh, social media or the online game, still fairly new. And um, I had to come to grips with that as well as my own personal insecurities. And uh, I think that's a lot of what people do not want to be honest about. I think we can be honest about everything except that fear part. And I know I could quote a bunch of scriptures, you know, God has not given us um, the spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind. And I agree with that 100%. But I think we have to be honest with ourselves and um, deal with those personal wounds and those personal experiences that have taken places that get in our way of the faith over fear part. And um, when Plain James and I formed Bread and Water, I had done a couple things. Uh, I made a couple moves. But um, I'm not going to lie, I was still kind of in the hesitation part, more or less in the fear part. And um, he uh, put out a, a video, you know, I had heard about him. My homeboy was like, man, you need to check out this dude named Plain James, man. He's got some dope material out, He's got some good music out. So I checked it out and I was like, yeah, that's what's up. You know, I, I really enjoyed that, appreciate it. Uh, but I was following him. I started following him on social media. And uh, on Instagram, he posted a video and it kind of had like this old school boom bap type of feel type track. And I was like, oh, man, that's nice. So I, I reached out, kind of got some courage up and I reached out like I've done a million other times with other artists. And I genuinely reached out and was like, yo, bro, I really uh, like that video you just posted. I would love to try to make a beat for you. And he was like, dope. And uh, I sent him a beat or whatever, and he, uh, he liked it. And, you know, we exchanged contact. We kind of went back and forth a couple times. And I think he was sick. He had gotten sick, and uh, he was laying, he said he was laying on his couch. And he was like, felt like God had just dropped this idea on him. And he reached out and was like, hey, man, hey, how about we form this group? I really like what you bring to the table. I feel like, uh, I, you know, I'm really connected with you. And uh, let's form this group. And I was like, wow, you know. And uh, I said, okay, well, what do you, what, what's the name of the group? And uh, he said, bread and water. And I'm looking to myself like, that's terrible. I'm talking about, man, I'm thinking about this other name and this other name. And he was like, man, there's a lot of other people that's already got that name. And I was like, oh, okay. And I said, well, um, well, break it down for me. What does bread and water mean? And he just got to talking about uh, being hungry for God, being thirsty for God. Those that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Bread of life and, the, you know, the, uh, be filled with the living water. And I was like, ah, oh, man, that's crazy. Like, I, I really like it. It's simple. It's straight to the point. Uh, it's no fluff. You know, it is, it's, 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 it's spot on. So I was just like, dude, I'm with it. 
And um, what turned into, man, let's just do a few songs to a nine song project. And uh, this is the very first project that I've produced for somebody, you know, in a group. I, I produced my very first album, uh, The Prelude. Uh, it's available everywhere. Go check it out. But uh, this is the first time that I partnered with somebody and I actually got to run the way I wanted to run. And uh, it's been a crazy experience. And um, so there you have it. Faith over fear. It takes a lot more than what people think to be uh, to be transparent because when you take your gift and your talent, your art, your craft, whatever you want to call it, when you take it and put it on social media, put it online, put it on the internet, you're putting yourself out to be judged. Sometimes it comes back good and sometimes it comes back as, dude, what, what, what are you doing? This is terrible. It sucks, you, you know, and um, it takes a lot for that faith over fear. But I, I, I'm just thankful that I'm at a place now to where I understand that the negative and the positive will come. But I'm also understanding that it takes a, a negative and a positive to make a vehicle run. It, it takes those both of those combinations to move forward. And I'm just thankful that I'm at a, a place right now in my life where I can handle that. And I know that this project, everybody ain't gonna like it, but I know that it's gonna be a lot of people that that is gonna like it. And, um, and I'm understanding that everything ain't for everybody, but this project right here, I'm about, to, I'm about to talk my talk. This project right here, it's kinda, it's kinda that situation like, I'm kinda tired of what everybody's doing. I'm tired of that, that mainstream lane or whatever. I just kinda need something that's gonna help me ease the pain. I need something that I can just vibe out with. I can just, I can cut a block with. I can sit in the living room with. I can ride with my girl. I can ride with my kids with. It's just really smooth. We didn't, we, we didn't try to be extra. We just did what we did. And I really, me personally, I am Lynn Flo. I think that's what the game is missing. Originality, being authentic, being genuine, not putting on, just being yourself. And to me, that's faith over fear because it takes a lot to just be yourself. To clear your mind of all the, the noise, all the echoes, all the everything, and just, you know what? I'm going to do what I do. And I'm going to be my best at it. And I'm going to give it all I have. And I'm going to give it unconditionally. I think that's faith over fear. That's one aspect of faith over fear. But I just kind of wanted to take some time and, and reach out and, um, you know, do more than just push the single, push the single, go get it, go get it. And just talk to y'all about what it is. But I'm signing off. I am Lynn Flo. Live Eternal Now. Plain James. Trap Theology. The album, the project is up for pre-order. You pre-order, we're giving you two singles, Faith Over Fear and Sensei. Apple Music, Google Play, it's available everywhere. However you do your music, it's available. Go make it happen. Show some love, show support. I am Lynn Flo, Live Eternal Now. Peace.